today we're braving the black ice and the freezing fog to pay our first visit to Watermead Country Park on the outskirts of Leicester. Well as I said there's black ice on the side roads but even on the A14 and the M1 we noticed a couple of accidents. Okay, here we are at Watermead Country Park, uh, safe and sound. Well, although it is a country park, through this gate is a designated nature reserve. So let's go and check it out. The reserve seems to be made up of very small pockets of woodland, uh, reed bed, and uh, several lakes. As you can see, it's bitterly cold today, and this one is almost completely frozen over. Although this mute swan has found a small area of water that isn't frozen. The frozen landscape is uh, fairly picturesque, but whether we're going to see much wildlife today, I don't know. I think the reserve is looked after by at least one warden, but like most reserves, uh, relies on volunteers to help maintain it. Well, there's supposed to be four hides here, so let's go off and see how many we can find. This is the Kingfisher hide, first one we've come to. Actually overlooks a small feeder area, nothing much at the moment. Great tip and more hen on the ground there. And looking into the reed bed that it also looks over we've got a uh, great tip it's actually nice to see them in one of their natural habitats rather than on the feeders we also saw a tree creeper from that hide but i didn't have time to get the camera on it uh, so we moved on this is the next hide the san martin hide and looking out this also looks over an area of water and reed bed and it's called the san martin hide because there through the gloom you can see a san martin uh, nest bank but nothing much else. So we moved on and uh, looking up into the treetops on our way to the next side we've got a decent view of this male red pole. Also a little bit further on the robin looking very fat and people say birds look fat this time of year. It's not through uh, eating too much I can assure you it's to keep warm they puff up their feathers to uh, trap in body heat. And there we've got a song thrush nice view of that okay this is the third hide come to this is the plover hide a real state-of-the-art hide this one looks really uh, good it's on two levels walking through the door uh, bottom level here then you can go up the uh, steps to the upper level which overlooks the river saw and then a much uh, marshier area and looking down uh, we've actually got some snipe this looks uh, actually promising it's a real cracking hide it'd be good to come back here on a better day and i'm sure we will uh, visit again as the year progresses well, we're not quite sure where the fourth hide is but uh, before we go we want to check out the john merrick lake because we've been told that there's uh, several goosanders there this is the john merrick lake and looking out on view at the moment we've got a good shot of a, a gray heron there it's always worth checking out gulls this is a common gull also got mallard the visibility is uh, not very good we've got a pair i think of these uh, Aylesbury duck the tree there and but then out of the gloom here we are goosanders and quite a few as well there's probably at least 30 out there both males and females the male there with uh, the green head the white body and the females with the chestnut head and the greyish body not that you can see the colors very well the male has a striking red beak there it's almost um, monochrome uh, can't really see the colors but what an impressive uh, duck that is one of the sawbill ducks and i'll leave you with that see you next time <laughs>